In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up a refer a friend program on your WooCommerce store. We're gonna set up the give 10 or give 10, get 10 concept. So if a customer um, can refer a friend and they can give them $10 off their first purchase. And if a customer's friend purchases um, on your store, you will give them $10 on their next um, order because they referred a new customer. So we're gonna set it up right now and we're gonna go through a bunch of, you know, a couple different scenarios. Um, but before we jump into it, if you're, if you're, if this is your first time here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna go to my WordPress dashboard. I'm on Charlie's Coffee. I wanna set up a refer a friend program. So I'm gonna go to plugins, add new, and I'm gonna update or upload the automate woo referrals um, plugin. And that link can be found in the description box below. Yes, you have to have automate woo um, installed to be able to use the plugin. And if you haven't seen my other videos on automate woo, um, you can see in the cards above. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna go to automate woo settings and then I'm gonna go to refer a friend. So right now I wanna enable referrals, right? So I wanna enable referrals. I wanna just set this up um, as quickly as possible to see if people have interest in this refer a friend program. And we also will get the stuff later about like sending an email to customers that have paid once or been a customer as well as other marketing tactics. So I need to create this share page right here and I can see this, this is the short code I need. So I'm gonna go to new page and I'm gonna add a new page just called refer and I am just gonna quickly add a short code and I'm gonna publish this page, boom. So I can view this page and right now referrals are currently disabled but this page will come in handy later. So I'm gonna go back to my settings and I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna click save changes on my settings. And then I can fill out my share page as the refer page. And right here, my share URL is just gonna be my home page. but if you wanted to go to a specific URL on your store, you could update that. And you could, e you could also add UTM parameters if you wanted to, um, such as, you know, append stuff like this, I'm not going to do it, but you can. Um, and I will put this in a blog post so you guys can see in the link in the description box below if you guys want to take some of these tips and tricks. So to keep going on with these settings. So I want to limit sharing to paying customers. Um, you know, you guys can decide what you want to do that. So that would mean someone that's not a paying customer could do it. I'm just going to leave this checked so i want people to actually buy something in my store to be able to share you can do this if you want to um, and then i'm going to auto approve referrals on order completed now if you are just getting started with your refer a friend program and you want to approve them manually this is something you could do as well um, and you can also do this on order paid and for this example i'm just going to do on order paid i usually would do order completed but when i go through a test order to show you guys how this all works I want it to be just on paid so I don't have to update the order from processing to completed. So I'm gonna do an order paid, but you guys should choose order completed or approve it manually. So I'm gonna do order paid, and I'm not gonna worry about store credit and subscription renewal payments, but if that's something that you were interested in, you could check that. And I'm not gonna worry about privacy right now. And right now I'm just gonna do $10 off. So give 10, get 10. It's gonna be a fixed amount, but you could choose a percentage. And then I'm not gonna have it expire, but you could have it expire after you know four weeks. This is the referral offer. So if um, Kevin Garnett was referring Michael Jordan, and he is the friend, Michael Jordan is a friend, he's never purchased on Charlie's Coffee, but Kevin Garnett is the advocate, which will we get down to down here. He is the person that's advocating for Charlie's Coffee. So he's sending a referral link Kevin Garnett send a referral link to Michael Jordan and say, hey, check out this coffee. Get $10 off your first order. And if Michael Jordan purchases it, um, Kevin Garnett gets $10 off his next order. So Kevin Garnett's already a current customer. Michael Jordan has not purchased anything yet until Kevin sends him that link. So it's a win-win. And I'm not gonna do a minimum, pur minimum purchase amount, but you could, or you could only include certain product categories or exclude certain product categories, maybe like gift cards if you wanted to, but we're gonna keep moving on. And so if the advocate, Kevin Garnett, cause he's sending the link to 
Michael Jordan. He is, um, the advocate is Kevin Garnett and he's gonna get $10 as well. So give 10, get 10. And then I'm not gonna limit the number of referrals and I'm gonna show this on the bottom of the page. This is on the order confirmation page. It's just gonna show this widget so they can share. You could also do top of the page or do not display at all. We will go through a test so you guys can see how this all looks like. So I also wanna show this widget on order emails and I wanna show this widget on new account emails so you can choose if you wanna do this. Right now I'm just gonna keep that off and I'm just gonna say give $10, get $10. And I'm just not gonna have this be filled out and I believe it will update based on the settings I put up here. So I'm gonna come down, I wanna enable sharing through Facebook, Twitter, and this default share text. And I also want to enable sharing via email and I wanna use the WooCommerce default, but you could change this to plain text as well. And they also include these um, short codes that you can use right here. So this can be used in the emails. And if I preview this email, you know, it's gonna look something like this, right? Simon, I sent you $20 to spend. Um, and I'm just gonna update this. I, I guess I am gonna update this to uh, $10. I know I said it wasn't. And then allow existing customer referrals. I'm not gonna allow this because if someone has already been a customer, I don't need like, a refer friend is all about referring someone that hasn't been a customer of Charlie's Coffee. If you have a special use case, you can click this. I am not, but and then I'm gonna save the changes. Awesome, so I have all my settings set up and now the next step would be to do a test order and I'm just gonna go through a quick test order to show you guys what the, the sharing widget looks like on the order confirmation page. And with that, I'm gonna go through a test order and I am just gonna add something. Boom, and I'm gonna go through this checkout process and I'm gonna purchase something. Awesome, so I purchased something and if I keep scrolling down, you can see that this, um, it's supposed to be give 10, get 10, and that's something I need to fix in the settings. But as you can see, there's this easy thing to share via email, share via Facebook, share via Twitter. So let's say I wanna do share via email, it's gonna take me to this refer a friend page. Right, and let's say I wanted to add in Michael Jordan's email address and I'm going to send them a referral. But um, Kevin Redknapp could also add in like up to five email addresses or you could share to his Facebook followers or Twitter. Awesome, so I just sent this to Michael Jordan who is test for at .com. And now if I go to that email, I will be able to see, or Michael Jordan will be able to see the coupon code that he can use to get $10 off his first order. Awesome, and now if Michael Jordan goes to his email, he's able to see this coupon code that um, Kevin Garnett, in this case it's Simon, I'm the advocate, but it's just a test, but he's gonna see this coupon code of $10, and I guess I was wrong, you have to update that text back in the settings to be $10 instead of 20. Um, but anyways, so I can take this coupon code, and if it's Michael Jordan, you know, he's seeing that he's been getting a $10 off coupon and obviously update his email and text. But now if he goes and shops, right? If he goes and shops at Charlie's Coffee, let's say he clicks this shop now. And with that, I'm just going to copy this link address, open up an incognito window, and I'm gonna go through the checkout process as Michael Jordan, and I'm gonna add a light roast, and let's add something else such as Decaf, awesome. So we have this, you've got light roast and decaf, and now Michael Jordan can easily enter his code, right, and he enters his code, it applies successfully, so he gets $10 off his first order on Charlie's Coffee. And now if Michael, you know, adds in all his um, details and goes to the checkout process. Awesome, so Michael Jordan makes his, e or makes his test order um, and he is the friend. Um, Kevin Garnett was the advocate and as I can see, he got $10 off his first order and um, Kevin Garnett successfully gave 10 and now he gets 10. So with that, I'm gonna go back to my account, Simon, which is acting like Kevin Garnett. If I go back to my account and I go to the referrals tab, 
I can see that I do not have any completed referrals yet. And if you're testing this, the reason is because of like Automate Woo's um, fraud protection. We have the same uh, IP address that I was used just to test this out. But this can easily be fixed by going to referrals. And I can see right here, it's gonna give me this potential fraud. So I can just give this a thumbs up and manually approve it right now. This won't ever happen besides when you're testing it. So I'm just gonna give this uh, approval. And now if I come back to my account page and I refresh this, I can see that I have a $10 credit to use. So we went through a test order about getting a $10 or give 10, get 10, and successfully um, we're able to credit the friend and the advocate. So now I could go use this um, in the checkout process myself. And this is going to automatically um, apply my referral credit on my next order. Awesome, so we have that done. Now, if you guys wanted to, um, and if I just go through this checkout, I can see that I can use this referral credit. It will automatically apply. And now if I go back to my account and I go to referrals, I can see that my remaining balance is zero. So I gave $10, I got $10, and I used the $10. Um, and a win-win, and now to get another win for me, I'll have to refer someone else. But we're not gonna do this in this tutorial. We're just gonna go straight to showing you guys some other things to get the most out of your refer a friend program. So if I come back, my homepage, so I could easily add a refer a friend you know, menu item. So if I just go to like here, and let's say I want to add, you know, this refer right here. And I'm just gonna say, you know, get, or give 10, get 10. However you wanna do it, and I'm gonna click save. I can see I have this give 10, get 10. And if I wanted to spice things up a little bit on this menu, I could come back here and I am just gonna show, um, you can do this right here, show CSS classes, and I'm just gonna add the extra class, and I'm also gonna add this font awesome kind of gift icon. Right, so I have this give 10, get 10, and I added the extra class as well because I wanna do uh, kind of an outline of this and this probably might be better as like adding a top bar above my header. But um, in this, I'm just gonna show you guys something real quick. I'll also add this CSS in the description box or on the blog post. So I'm just going to click customize. And if I go to additional CSS, I'm just gonna quickly add this, um, this top bar. And I think this might just be extra. And I'm gonna publish this. So now if I come here, that's not what I want. And um, I'm just gonna come back here and do extra two. And I'm gonna come back and let's customize. This is something that I need to iron out better, but I can make this work. Um, just with some additional CSS. And this is probably better in the top bar, but this is just a good idea of putting it in your top bar or in your menu or in your footer or somewhere just to make it easy for your customers to see. Obviously, they will be able to see on their My Account Referrals page, but a lot of people don't even know that you have a referral program. Awesome, so another thing I wanna go over is sending an email to all, all your customers that have purchased you know, one order in the last year and kind of give them a heads up that you have a referral program. So with that, I'm gonna go back to my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna go to Workflows and I'm gonna add a new workflow, which is called like, refer a friend, um, give 10, get 10. I'm gonna do a manual workflow for this, and I'm gonna do a rule called, this is gonna be an order, and I'm gonna do a rule called customer order count is is greater than zero, the customer order count is greater than zero, I wanna send an action of send an email and I'm gonna send this to the customer email and I'm gonna say give 10, get 10, 
share Charlie's coffee with your friends. So I can fill out this email and I'm gonna say, hey, you know, customer first name. Did you know we have a referral program? Refer a friend program? Give your friend $10 and get $10. Awesome, so I'm gonna come down here and I also want to um, provide this customer referral widget to use, right? Something like that from Charlie's Copy. Awesome, so I'm going to save this workflow. So let's run this workflow, right? And this is gonna look for all um, customers in the past um, that have more than one order and I'm gonna run this workflow awesome so this workflow is ran and now um, in the queue you may have to wait every two minutes or so but all your customers will be getting an email if they place an order on your store um, about your referral program so this could be a great way just to easily not worry about using like MailChimp or Clavio or any other of your email softwares and just do it all in WooCommerce, especially for something like this, and your customers are gonna get an email, which I will pull up um, shortly after this queue updates. Awesome, so after waiting two minutes or so, I can see that all the um, people that placed one order, an email was sent out to them, and for example, um, I can see right here that this is the email my customer is going to get, and the subject's gonna be give 10, get 10, and you know, this is gonna be the subject, share Charlie's Coffee with your friends. You know, hey Simon, do you know that we have a refer a friend program? Invite a friend, they'll get $10, plus we will give you $10, a win-win, share today. So it just makes it really easy, and once again, I needed to update this to $10 in the settings, um, and if you've been following this tutorial, you know that, but I can easily share via email, share via Twitter, and your friends will be, or the your customers will be taken to a quick share page and a refer friend page and yeah that's that's it so if you enjoy this tutorial make sure to give me a like give me a thumbs up and um yeah all links can be found in the description box below this was i was trying to do this as quick as possible so i realized that there might be questions so leave them in the comment box and let me know if you like automate woo or for a friend i think it's a great plugin to use and a lot of bang for your buck instead of using like referral candy or friend buy um, that you know really don't do that much more functionality or really any more functionality. So let me know if you guys use refer a friend with automate woo. And with that, I'm signing off. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. Peace.